Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a late Partners in Cream Project Pan update. I apologize again for all of the back-to-back -back Project Pan updates that are always behind schedule on my channel. I'm trying to get caught up so that I can go back to posting other content as well, but I still, I feel like I am losing the battle, the uphill battle, whatever that saying is. <laughs> this project was created by Steph Lyons and Dylan. I It is a project pan focused on all cream and liquid products. I am so happy to have been doing this project all year. It's really helped me rotate through a lot of my cream and liquid product and I have had some empties to share throughout as well some pans in cream eyeshadows, things like that, but I've mostly been using this project as a way to rotate through those cream cheek and lip, lip products, and it's been working really well for me, so I'm happy with that. Um, let's just hop right in. I feel like these updates are generally pretty short and sweet. So last month I rolled in the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation. I have mine in the shade N12. This is a really good match for me actually. This is a very old foundation. I have a sneaking suspicion it was breaking me out. So I have stopped using it for a little bit. I did use this three times. Um, there is a line of demarcation right here on this side. Oh yeah, that's pretty much straight across, like through the word Lumi, but I can't see through the bottle and I can't get the cover off to get a like true accurate picture of where this is because there's no gap windows. There's just kind of almost like a separation line right here across the whole bottle. So I think that's where it is. So I haven't marked it. That's what I'm getting at. <laughs> And I've stopped using this. I used it three times. I've been dealing with really bad breakouts, but it was also right around that time of the month. So I am just taking a break. My breakouts are almost cleared up. Um, they're really bad on this cheek. I mean, oh yeah. At this angle, you can see all this inflammation uh, right here and right here and a little bit on this side of my jaw as well. I will get back to this once my breakout's clear to see if they immediately come back again. That seems like torturing myself, but it still smells fine. It still looks great. The formula appears to be the same, even though this is on the older side. So I need to do a bit more experimentation with this guy. The ColourPop Super Shock Highlighter I am working on is the shade On The Cusp. I hoped to have this done for this update, but I think I've only used it twice since the last update. Oh gosh, I still have six more uses to go on this. I've used it nine times. It's a bit deep for me now. I haven't self tanned in a really long time, which is actually on my to do list. That sounds weird to say, but I want to apply a layer of fake tan and then this matches me better again. Um, because it is, yeah, it's just a little bit on the deeper side. And this is the lighter of the two that Kathleen Lights released at the same time. So that's kind of a bummer that it doesn't really work on my fair skin and my tan is fading rapidly. The other cheek product I am working on is this Milk Makeup Halo Glow Oil Lip and Cheek. It is a very vibrant, shimmery pink. This is beautiful. I did apply it on my cheeks and I was a little worried about the shade because it is so, so pink. This is a stain from a lipstick. Um, so right here in the center, so pink, so shimmery. I was concerned that it'd be the shade and the shimmer and all that and that is fine. But my other concern is that it would be sticky, and it is. It's sticky on the cheeks. 
I top it with a powder blush and I mean that works it powders it down but then I kind of lose this color but I feel like the glow remains but I also kind of feel like it defeats the purpose because this is supposed to be that like wet dewy look on the skin I just don't appreciate that like my hair will literally stick in it so my goal is to use this 10 times and I've only used it the once so far I swear I've used it twice I, I think I've used this twice. I'm gonna adjust that in my spreadsheet. So eight more uses to go on this. It's definitely more of a summary product, but I wanted to gather my thoughts on this and test it out. So it's coming with me to the fall. The ColourPop lipstick in the shade What's Your Sign is what is on my lips today, topped with a lip gloss. It is a gorgeous nude. I really love these Lux lipsticks from ColourPop. I have a few of them. I really enjoy this formula and my goal is to use this 10 times as well. I've used it four so far. So not a lot, but I was going to say I could probably have it done for the next update, but I said that about another nude lipstick from my whole collection project pan. They kind of compete for attention. This is more neutral, leaning, a touch cool, and the other nude I'm panning is neutral, leaning peach. So they kind of go with different looks, but I can always alter the undertone a touch with a gloss or a lip liner. So we'll see. I need to use that lipstick seven more times and I need to use this lipstick six more times. So we'll see what happens. Lastly, I was working on the ColourPop Super Shock Eyeshadow in the shade Kathleen Lights. Again, I mentioned this a while ago. It seems to be a ColourPop and Kathleen Lights project pan for me. But I successfully hit pan on this with my makeup look today. I combined the Urban Decay Born to Run palette with this. Um, I have it on the inner part of my lid and inner part of my lower lash line mixed with the shade Smog from the Born to Run palette and the rest of my look comes from the rest of that palette. Anyways, this is a very warm, coppery, gorgeous eyeshadow. I bought this in 2015 um, when she first released her like quad foursome of super shock shadows and it is still so creamy. It feels brand new. I'm so happy that it finally has a pan in this. I loved working on this, especially like that late summer and into September. Oh, it was so gorgeous. And I'm excited to say I'm going to roll in another Super Shock Shadow. I have really enjoyed working my way through my Super Shock Shadow collection this year and hitting pan. Pan takes me roughly 20 uses from new. Um, let's, how many have I hit pan on? That was my fourth Super Shock eyeshadow to hit pan on this year. So I was looking through my collection and two in my makeup inventory caught my eye. Both of these I got um, a really long time ago, 2015, 2016, around there. I have a lot from that time. But anyways, I, there was about four that were like really fall vibes that I really want to work through. So maybe if I get my button gear and hit pan quickly, then I can get through all four of them. I keep, <laughs> I feel weird with the middle part when I keep looking at my monitor. Okay. I chose a matte this time just to mix it up. I've been working on a lot of like material metallic type formulas. This is the shade Melrose. This was in a fall collection. Again, 2015, 2016, around there. I didn't even swatch this to see if it's still creamy, but all of my other ones have been because I really make sure to crank these lids on tight. Let's do a swatch test. Oh, that's a little dry. Mm. 
Nope. What is happening? I have, <laughs> in my whole collection project pan, I discovered expired makeup. That was two swatches. See how dry and patchy that is? Like, it is hard. Okay, well the other one I was thinking of, this was like my second choice, was the shade Blaze, again from Kathleen Lights. This is a really like grungy antique gold kind of shade. This one is still as creamy as ever. The other one was a matte one, so it obviously didn't have like as much oil and all that like within its formula. This is actually very similar to Smog that I have mixed with Kathleen Lights on my eyes right now. That's a gorgeous, like, taupey, antique gold kind of mix. I don't know how to explain it. Wow, okay, I will insert a picture of what Blaze looks like right now, and my goal will be to hit pan on this guy. I'm so bummed by the expired makeup I keep finding in my collection. Again, another reminder, I feel like my makeup collection is reminding me every week lately that makeup expires and I shouldn't have this much. Good thing I'm on a no buy. Ah, okay. Anyways, I always feel like that dampens my mood down so much. Oh. I, my goal will be to hit pan on the shade Blaze. And again, it takes me roughly 20 uses from new. This doesn't really have the pressing like imprint on here anymore. So I must have used it like at least between five and 10 times, honestly. I've had these for a really long time. So I'm not expecting it to take me too, too long to hit pan on this guy. So that was all of my progress for my Partners in Cream Project Pan. Another bummer. Um, for goals for next time, I would really like to be done with the Super Shock Cheek Highlighter so I can roll in um, something different. I have been meandering with this for way too long. I love the Super Shock Highlighters. I, I just have a lot going on and I need to make this front and center in my weekly makeup basket. That system has been working really well for me for rolling things out, like rolling through my project pan items. And I need to determine if this is breaking me out or if it's just, you know, regular old hormonal acne. I have a mess on this hand. And everything else I foresee staying in for a month or two. Um, like these two products. I don't know if I can get to my 10 uses on either of these before next time. Let me know how you are doing on your project pan. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!